Here is a fraction 5 over 3 and I like to say it out loud and say the fraction is 5 thirds and that really helps you think that it's 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and it's 5 thirds. Here we've got thirds of a circle and you are just thinking about 5 thirds as 5 individual thirds but if you line them up or rearrange them and line them up in a different way you can see that this number, this 5 thirds number is the same as 1 and 2 thirds. So if you're thinking about it in terms of a number line, it's easy to think of a 1 and 2 thirds. It's between 1 and 2 and it's 2 thirds of the way between 1 and 2. But sometimes it's easier to think about fractions as 5 thirds. So here they are as 5 individual thirds and here they are as 1 and 2 thirds. So they're both numbers, they both appear in the number line, they both mean the same thing, but they're just different ways of looking at them. Also, if perhaps you had another example, you had quarters and you had 14 of them, you need, because now you're dealing with quarters, you put them into groups of four. So if we do this, you can see there's one lot of four, there's another lot of four, and another lot of four, and two left over. And so if you rearrange them, and you stop thinking about them as 14 quarters, and you want to think about them in groups, of whole numbers, you rearrange them and you think about them as three and two quarters, which is the same as three and one half. So on a number line, it's exactly in between number three and number four, but 14 quarters, sometimes it's easy to think about these things as 14 individual quarters all lined up like that, and sometimes like that.